what's happening everybody um, I just wanted to kind of bring you along and show you what we were working on today um, helping my parents out we're um, putting an overhang on their deck I tried to find some videos out there on YouTube to see how uh, different people were doing some of their awnings there's really not a lot out there um, as far as extending off of an existing deck so that was part of the reason I kind of wanted to throw the video together but uh, my dad and I are putting this one together um, the existing decks about three years old and my mom had been wanting to try to get it covered now for a little over a year they were having kind of a hard time finding anybody in this area that wanted to come out and do it with the existing deck so I just told them we'd take it on and um, get it taken care of for them but dad and I are like I said trying to get it trying to get it covered or get the rafters on so we can get the metal ordered and get it covered but uh, we'll uh, shoot some video and some time lapse of it and you can kind of see the metal go on it. So here's what we ended up with. We actually wound up going on two foot centers with two by six rafters, and then we're going to add cross blocking in between. Um, we put hurricane hangers on it just in case we would ever have some high winds. Um, the outer band out here is a two by ten, and then we're setting on six by sixes on top of the original six by sixes, obviously. Um, <clears throat> now what we did in between them was we we doweled them with a piece of heavy wall galvanized pipe and of course set them on top of the handrails um, the original lumber was actually in pretty rough shape as far as the handrails I don't know if they just got a bad run of treated so and then as far as on the house we obviously removed the existing gutter section cut it off and then 
pulled some of the soffit met, um, vinyl away to check and see what we had underneath and that is a two by six under the um, metal that we actually wind up just using the um, joist hangers and lagged into and it's nailed into the rafter tails. We may eventually wind up having to add some gussets in below to catch it but um, as far as where we're at and the weather that we get around here I think we're going to be just fine but that's that's basically what the cross blocking is going to look like and then we're going to add metal on top of it. We threw some tarp up just for some temporary sun and rain cover but it's basically basically it and then I can update the video once we get <clears throat> the metal in which I ordered today so we appreciate you watching the video if you like this video please like subscribe share comment on the video and we'll look forward to seeing you on the next one take care have a good day